Hey guys, what is up? It is me, The Yellow Penguin, and here we have an HP computer from 2001. The exact model today we're going to be looking at is HP Pavilion uh, 510C, and this is basically based around, I'd say, 2001. And so I don't waste a lot of time rambling on and going through all of this, because I'm sure you want to see the upgrade. Um, this runs Service Pack 0, and that kind of stuff. And we've got a cool list and stuff, we've got some, like, this guy right here. Got some apps, software set pro programs, just opens up, um, just start menu stuff, which, if we go here, is there anything included? Um, let me take a look at it real quick, you know, just take a look at all the stuff that we have. We got Boy Perfect, instead of Office, Carta, Microsoft Money, MSN Explorer. Got quite a bit of stuff built in, which is kind of cool. We need to be recovery, apparently. Not that anymore. Anyways, um, so, we're going to be upgrading this from, you know, our normal XP, so the Vista 7, uh, 10. Although, before we can actually do that, we actually need to upgrade to Service Pack 2 to upgrade to Vista. Now, I already, I already went ahead and downloaded SP2 and transferred it to the VM, so it would take less time, hopefully. It's all this uh, tool uh, bar at the top right here, this, like, uh, I don't know what this is, this is HP Center thing? I don't know if it actually is going to work in newer versions. It's interesting, I guess. And we got HP's fake uh, start menu, or like add the start menu and just install. So let's see if we can just, I don't think we can use an XP thing. If we can just go to like, yeah, okay, that's probably a better one. Let's get rid of that, okay. Uh huh, next. We agree. And we am gonna go ahead and upgrade to service pack 2. So, I'm going to time up this part. Alright, so that was really quick in a way. Um, we're now on SP2, I'm pretty sure. I don't, an icon disappeared. I actually can't tell what icon that was. I hope it was important. I don't know what it was. Anyway, let's go and get started and move on to Windows Vista. Okay, so it finished, and it actually cleared the wallpaper, which actually stinks. Hopefully it didn't actually delete the wallpaper, because that would actually really suck. Although, because it's... I think we all... Oh, no, right here. Cool. Let's see. I want the... Higher column. This is the higher column. Oh, God, my mouse is being really bad today. That is the higher quality wallpaper, and so it's there, and... Whenever I do these, I always lose the drivers, which is going to be a recurring theme in almost all of these. Um, so we still got all our icons, 
big. You know, having Sonic Explorer has no incompatibility, apparently. HB Tour Guy, I'm not gonna go through these realistically all more than just opening that. But we still have all our programs here. Actually, we're gonna test anything, so I guess we do need to open something. So, open this HB Tour Guide. Oh, no, that's broken. <laughs> um, HB Center. Did I miss that? Now you're to Oh, wait, it's like, you know, it's down here, actually. Yes and no. It's, it's, it's Windows, so like, it's a Vista, so I'm not that surprised. That doesn't work. Um, I mean, these are really old apps, let's try this. That's just a web shortcut, that doesn't matter, actually. Let's try this old weather bug. That kind of works. It did works. No. I don't want IE. Um HP Center did not work. I don't really want to waste your guys' time, so let's just do like one more. Let's just open whatever this is. Okay, that works. So it's hit and miss, I guess. So let's close all this out. So let's just say yes, it works for the time being. We'll say it works. Most apps are broken. But two friends over the span of, I don't know, 10 year, like a six year difference. That's not that surprising. Let's go ahead and move on to Windows 7. Okay, so here we are again, with an even worse resolution than the last time, our walking was also gone again. We'll just quickly fix this resolution. Alright, so now we have the walking back again. Both of us probably won't work. That's still broken. Yep. HP Center. That doesn't work. It must have said that didn't work before. It's still, in fact, not working. Which is that really surprising? Probably not. I don't know if you can actually check, like, or weather booking, I guess. Let me check again. And Dot does this thing, it's like a beep at me again. Oh, I'm gonna beep this time. <laughs> it's funny. No, I just want to feel it. Okay. Uh, it looks like most stuff before, like, works, or air quote worked. I'm not gonna say, like, guarantee or anything like that, because it's not exactly how it used to. I mean, these old. It was just uh, HTML. Even these, like, old Wild Tangent games. Like, this, I think, I don't think I ever have some of these games. These are old games. I recognize kind of Blaster Ball a little bit, but. Let's see if the beats work. Try to see if it actually work. Like, I mean, it, it installs and, like, that's some stuff yeah, here, so. You got some stuff here that does work and other stuff that doesn't work. But I'd say overall, like, 
I wasn't just also gonna say random shortcuts that made no sense, but whatever. So, like it's not a sentence, or yeah, the compatibility problems. That's not like anything built in from them. Or HP is just included in Windows, I think. So yeah, let's go ahead and move on to Windows 10, see if that works. Okay, so we are now back, and again, the wallpaper's gone, but what else is new? We'll go ahead and quickly set that. Um, Compatibility-wise, it doesn't look like we've actually lost any apps that have been removed, besides our broken apps. The only notification we had was for... Um, display drivers. So for example, if I open this, it's probably going to crash again. HP Center never <laughs> worked. I actually forgot what apps didn't didn't work, so I should open Carta Online Deluxe instead. Because realistically, I don't remember. Oh, I don't know what this is. Oh, it's that. Yeah, that also does open. That's not every time. But, it does look like, well, no, no, yeah, it's actually some of the apps are opening, kinda. The apps did not work from Sense of Vista are still not working, it looks like. Although anything that was included in Windows 7 and onwards is still working, or Vista and onwards is still working, which is a good thing at least. So to answer the question, yes, the HP OEM with 5, the HP Pavilion 510C can in fact upgrade to Windows 10. You just won't have all your apps from 2001 working properly. You got some, but not everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please check out the Kenny OEM upgrade series. You might enjoy some more videos similar to this one. Also, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, I'm making more videos, and your subscribe, uh, your subscription does help a lot. So as liking the video and leaving a comment. If you have any feedback, also leave a comment. I take all feedback seriously. Anywho, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.